Hello and welcome to today's lesson. We're going to be talking about topics under the standard 2.1a in third grade and also topics under the study island lesson called reading and writing numbers. So in this lesson we're going to be looking at how to write numbers from expanded form, standard form, or written form to another one of those forms. And so we can continue to use our chart from place value to help us keep everything straight with that. And like I said before, just make sure that you can either get used to not needing the chart to do these problems correctly, or you can use the chart from memory. And that's something you want to work up to. And you can even consider mixing these problems with the place value problems in Study Island by clicking both of them and clicking the Start Studying button so that you can get a mixed review of them mixed together since they're so similar. And so just make sure that you're taking notes as you're following along. If I ever go too fast, just pause the video and rewind and get caught back up. And that way you can have those notes to refer to when you are trying these problems on your own and studying. So I'm so glad that you're joining us, and let's go ahead and take some notes. In this lesson, we're also going to have to be familiar with the place values of numbers. And so keep in mind when you're working right to left, the first one is always the ones column and then the tens column, and then the hundreds column, and then the thousands column. And I'm going to use this chart from time to time to help us answer some questions, which you can do it too. But just make sure you know that you can't be able to pull this chart from your notes on a test. You have to be able to pull it from your memory. So if it's something you like using, just make sure that you have it memorized and are comfortable with it on a test. Here in this set of questions, we're going to be looking at how to represent these numbers three different ways. So standard form is just when it's written in numbers. So this is the typical way you are used to seeing a number written. Word form is when you use only words. So since I have a three in the thousands column, I would write 3,000. Since I have a two in the hundreds column, I'd write 200. And then the last two numbers I write like normal. So one nine is 19. And then expanded form is you write the value of each digit. So thousands, 1,000 has three zeros. So that means when I write three thousands, I'm going to write a three with three zeros. And then a hundred, hundred has two zeros. So when you have two hundreds, that's the same as having two hundred, which is the next one in the expanded form. And then the tens, a ten only has one zero, so you add a zero to it. And if you have one group of tens, that means you have ten, so that's why there's a plus ten. And then the ones is just the number, so you have one, you have nine ones pieces, so that means you have nine. So this is the same number written in, in, in expanded form. This problem asks what number is written 4,286. So if first I'm going to break it down. I'm taking it from written form and putting it in standard form. So 4,000 means I'm going to have a 4 in the thousands place. 200 means I'm going to have a 2 in the hundreds place. And then 86 is just written 8, 6. So here I went and used the chart to help me with this problem, which is fine. And I think that's a great idea. Just make sure that if you're using the chart that you don't, use your notes to be able to write it each time that you are able to do it from your memory too so that when you don't have your notes you can still be successful with these questions. So 4,286 which is going to be my final answer which is choice C. This question asks us again to take a number that's in written form and write it in standard form. And so here it says 5,000 so I'm going to take and write a 5 in the thousands column, 93. So 93, that is a tens and a ones number because it doesn't have a hundred as part of it. And so that means since it doesn't have a hundreds number written, I'm just going to fill in a zero. So this is where the chart can come in handy because it helps us not to forget any numbers. And so here, I'm 5,093 is going to be my final answer, which is choice B. Here's another question. 
it says wh what number is written as 3,805. So 3,000 means I'm going to have a 3 in the thousands column. 800 means I'm going to have an 8 in the hundreds column. And then 5, 5 just goes in the ones column. And I didn't have a tens number, so I'm just going to fill it in with 0. So once again, the chart helped me see that I needed to add that 0 in there because I was missing the tens number. And so 3,805 is my final answer, which is choice A. Now this problem is helping me do it the opposite way. I have the standard number and then I have to write it in words. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this number into the chart to help me out to see how to read the number. And so I start with the ones column and work to the left, which is opposite of reading. And that ensures me to get all the numbers in the right spot. And then anytime I'm reading a number, I'm going to read the thousands and hundreds place with the place value after it. And then the tens and ones is going to be written, is going to be said like you normally would. So here, this would be one thousandths, eight hundredths, thirty-eight. So the answer that says one thousand. 838 is choice A, which is going to be my final answer. So this question asks, how is the number 4780 written in words? So I'm going to go ahead and fill that number into my chart so it can help me out. The thousands and hundreds numbers are always read with the place value and then the last two numbers you group together and say how you would normally say them. So that means this one's going to be 4,780. So the answer that says 4,780 is choice B, my, your final answer. Now we're looking at taking numbers from standard form and writing them in expanded form or expanded notation. So to help us out, I'm going to go ahead and write this number into my chart, starting with the ones column and working to the left to ensure I don't miss any numbers and getting them all in their proper place. So here, the six is in the thousands column. So that means when I'm writing it in expanded form, I'm going to write 6,000 plus there's a three in the hundreds column, so it's going to be plus 300. Plus, there's a three in the tens column, so that's going to be plus 30, because a ten has a one zero, and so I add one zero to three, and that gives me 30. And then plus the seven. There, if you have seven, if you ones pieces, you count it only. You only have seven. So that means in expanded form, um, my answer is going to be 6,000 plus 300 plus 30 plus 7, which is my final answer, C. So here I'm given the number 803, and I need to write it in expanded notation. So I'm going to fill it into my chart, starting with the ones column and working to the left, so that I get all the numbers in their proper spot. And I'm going to look, okay, I have an 8 in the hundreds column. I didn't have anything in the thousands, so I don't have to deal with it. It's just extra this time. But I have an 8 in the hundreds column, so that means I'm going to write 800. And then I have a 0 in the tens column, so I don't have any of, I don't have any tens in the place value. So I'm just going to, I don't write anything to represent it because it's a 0. And then I have three ones, which is just 3. So this 803 is going to be 800 plus 3, which is choice B. Now we're starting with the expanded form and writing it in standard notation. So here I have 400. I said the word 100, and it's 400. So that means there's a 4 in the hundreds place. And then 60, it has 1, 0, just like 10 has 1, 0. So that means that 6 is going to go in the tens column. And then the 2 doesn't have any zeros, so it goes in the 1's column. So that means 400 plus 60 plus 2 is 462. 
And if you ever get super stuck or you want to check yourself, if you actually add up these numbers, your answer is 462, which is another way to convert it to standard form. And so number nine says write the following expanded number in standard notation. So I look and I have a thousandths number, and so it's a one thousand, so it means I'm going to have a one in the thousands column. And then I have 60. 60 has one zero, just like 10, so that means the six goes in the tens column, and then the three goes in the ones column. If you look, I didn't have a number in the hundreds column. I didn't have any hundreds number. So I need to fill in a zero here so that I can keep all of place values correct. And so that means 1,063 is going to be my final answer, which is choice D. But once again, if you wanted to check yourself or if you get stuck, if you line up these numbers vertically and add them, I get the same answer of 1,063. Thank you for joining us today, and I hope you learned something new.